Cherry, popcorn, root beer, berry. Who says magic beans are imaginary? Blind taste tests and childhood fun. Jelly Belly is here to show us how it's done. The origin of the jelly bean is surprisingly mysterious. The most popular theory is that the jelly bean was originally a crossover between the Turkish Delight and Jordan almonds. Taking the chewy sweetness from the Turkish Delight and encasing it in a sugary shell of a Jordan almond, by the 20th century they had gained popularity in America and quickly became a candy classic. Fun fact, President Ronald Reagan historically munched on these sugary treats to wean himself off pipe tobacco. He was such a jelly bean fanatic that he even gifted a jar of red, white, and blue beans to President Clinton when he was elected in 1992. I guess a love for jelly beans is something we can all agree on. The first stop is in the kitchen, where confectioners are mixing together the base for the beans. Any guess what this is? That's 2,000 pounds of cornstarch. Yeah, you heard that right, 2,000 pounds. This cornstarch is attached to a large funnel that dispenses the powder into heated tubes. These tubes jet cook the cornstarch with sugar, water, and corn syrup and transport the mixture into a large kettle. This is now called slurry and it's the base of all the jelly beans, no matter what flavor. Root beer, juicy pear, strawberry jam, the possibilities are endless. This flavor being mixed happens to be orange and is made up of natural juice concentrates and fruit purees. Once the slurry is properly mixed, a switch is flipped and it is gravity fed out of the kettle through the pipes to the floor below. Its final destination is this machine, called a mogul. The mogul's task is very important because it is what gives the jelly bean its distinctive shape. Trays with firmed jelly bean centers that were made the previous day are loaded onto the machine and fed through a compartment. Inside the mogul, the tray is flipped over to discard the centers onto a conveyor belt below. Although we couldn't get our cameras inside, the newly emptied trays are being filled with fresh cornstarch and imprinted with 1,260 jelly bean shapes. The slurry mixture from the floor above is then dispensed evenly into each impression and conveyed along a track back to a heated dry room to sit overnight. Tomorrow the beans will come out and the loop will repeat. The firmed bean centers are passed along a belt where the excess corn starts to shake it off. Now for some steam. By steaming the jelly beans, the exterior shell becomes slightly sticky, making them ready for a sugar shower. Thin mists of sugary delight rain down over the centers as they cascade off the end of the conveyor belt. It almost looks like they are dancing. Bravo! Beans are tumbled and ready to be transferred to rest. This allows moisture to evaporate, leaving a chewy, delicious center. Although they look good enough to eat, the bean is practically naked without its shell. The first step to getting that shiny outside layer is called engrossing. The centers are loaded up into these devices called pans and it begins to turn. While the beans spin, a confectioner periodically adds colored flavoring and sugar. This process may look simple, but the real magic is happening here. If not alternated correctly, the beans can clump or lose their shape. The confectioner carefully watches and checks on texture to ensure the best results. Before the shells are complete, they need that final glossy layer to make them shine. Ladles full of confectioner's glaze, beeswax, and shellac are evenly poured over the beans to give them their final sheen. This room is dubbed the Sea of Beans, and it holds an estimated 240 million shiny jelly beans. Our lives have been empty without this. Some of these candies just won't make the cut. Some have lost their shape or are simply too big. These oopsie daisies are called belly flops and are separated from the other jelly beans in this machine. The candies that make the cut are fed through a tube and run underneath two rollers that print the Jelly Belly logo on each individual bean.
Assorted flavors are poured onto a 100-foot conveyor belt, creating a rainbow of beans. All these colors are mixed together and taken to the packaging room. An exact amount of beans are dispensed into each package and immediately sealed. Traveling along a belt, they are packaged by robotic arms that pick up each packet and places them in a box. All around the world, people of all ages look forward to opening that little box of Jelly Bellies. And with dozens of flavors to choose from, there's a Jelly Belly for everyone. Hey YouTube, thank you so much for watching. For more videos, click here, and to subscribe, click here.